Hello, sports fans and any remaining White Sox fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am going to discuss the age-old question that every baseball fan faces as their team comes down to the end of a baseball season, and that is, should, in this case, the White Sox be buyers or sellers before the trade deadline. And, uh, huh, yeah, my cheat sheet says they should be sellers because this team is bad. We only have 41 wins. We ju and we have only 41 wins in a bad division. We just played the mediocre division leader last night and we lost to them nine to four um you know i'm looking for the i'm looking for the bright lining um we came out of the break and we uh and we took two or three from the braves and so you thought okay maybe they're trying to avoid being uh being sellers uh but then we lost two of three to the mets and so w we find ourselves back in this situation um, if we, if the rest of the season, the Twins, if, if at the end of the season the Twins finish with 82 wins, and it looks like that's about where they're going, um, <clears throat> to finish like 82 and 80, we, the White Sox, I'm saying, would have to go 42 and 21 the rest of the way. 42 and 21 the rest of the way. Now, remember... That's only like 63 games. Yet, in the first 99 games, we've only gotten 41 wins. So, how likely is it that we're going to get 42 in the next 63? <clears throat> it's not likely. And if you were to look at, well, you know, all right, you know, maybe we weren't going to win this year, but we shouldn't just sell everybody off because, you know, we got guys, we got to think about next year. Yeah, we do have to think about next year, but... The guys, you know, I, the way I see it, there's only two untouchable guys on this team. Now, I have heard different people say that there's uh, three or four, but I don't think that there is. In fact, actually, no, I take that back. There's three, and the third is marginal. The two absolutely untouchable guys are Luis Robert and, um, and Dylan Cease, because Dylan Cease still has a year or two of control. So I would absolutely not trade either one of those two guys. Um, but, and then the third guy, the third guy that's like on the cusp is Eloy Jimenez. He's a good young player. He just gets injured a lot and he doesn't really quite play up to expectations. But I would, I would be a little hesitant to trade him. But those are the three guys. Now, <clears throat> I've read... And heard in other places that people have said that uh, Andrew Vaughn should also be absolutely untouchable by the Sox. I don't think so. He's he's no better than your run-of-the-mill first baseman that you could get anywhere. We could probably get some team's backup first baseman and have him be, I don't want to say as good as Vaughn, but not a noticeable drop-off from Vaughn. So maybe we have somebody in the system that could play as well as Vaughn or better, uh, or, or it wouldn't take much capital to get a first baseman that's better than Vaughn. I'm, not, I'm just not that impressed with Vaughn. Everything, everybody else could go. Everybody else could be on the trade block. And yes, that includes Jake Berger and, uh, and uh, Kendall Graveman which I have heard, you know, we might move him. And, uh, you know, and then we've got to get rid of some guys like Aaron Bummer. And he's not even a good one like that. So, you know, I mean, we, we got some work to do. But we're not winning anything this year. And, um, you know, they, they do need to be sellers. And they need to do it quickly. Um. And like I said, I would keep Cease and I would only keep Cease, Roberts, 
and uh, Robert and maybe uh, and maybe Eloy Jimenez. And s- now I've heard that the, the Astros really, really, really want Cease. You know, I guess you would have to evaluate a package, but it would have to be a hell of a package to trade Cease. So uh, those are my thoughts. What do you guys think? Um, leave it in the uh, description. Give me a thumbs up. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.